Hello everybody and welcome back to the Flip a Clip Hangout! All right, hello everybody. Today we have a very fun activity called Foodie Tunes. This is a new fun thing that Ryan and I um, have started. So we are gonna jump right into our activity today and stick around at the end. We are starting our creator spotlights. So we're highlighting one of you guys. Stay tuned for that. All right, Ryan, so let's get into Foodie Tunes. What does everybody need to have to participate? So you need to have flip a clip, and you need to have a picture of a food item. So your favorite food item, anything. It can be a hot dog, a marshmallow, a... What's your favorite food, Callie? My favorite food is pretzels. Oh, were you just eating pretzels and that was the first thing you thought of? Maybe. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, I do love pretzels, but I'm trying to think of a more fun one. Maybe a, a, a dragon fruit. That's my favorite oh, food. Well, that's pretty good. What about uh, breakfast noodles? Breakfast noodles, breakfast guys. Pasta. He's, he's breakfast making pasta? fun of me, everyone. I, I do this weird thing where I eat breakfast pasta in the morning. But what are your guys' favorite foods in the chat? Let us know because I feel embarrassed now. A chicken bee loves donuts. Mm. YouTube Bob loves BBQ chips. Let's see, what else do we like? Bentley's Earth likes hamburgers. Those are some good options. All right, Ryan, so if I um, want to participate, I could take a picture of food. For example, I could take a picture of a pretzel or I could maybe, what, download a Google image or what? Yep, yeah. Google image. If you do a Yahoo image search. No um, judge, maybe Yahoo. Maybe Alta Vista, Ooh. if that's still around. I'm not showing is. my age at all. <laughs> oh, uh, she, she all the oh, Rainy Wolf said mac and cheese. Who? Oh man, someone else said something cool and I lost it. Furby said Furby said hot. To, oh, this one crumpets. Do you know what a crumpet is? I don't. Yeah, it's like a inverted um, English muffin. You know I love English, English muffins? muffins. Those are my favorite. I was just talking about them yesterday. <laughs> so it's like that, but imagine it inside out. Cool. All right. So okay. Instead of you know when you cut it open and there's like a little hole, spiky like the whole thing. It's Oof. like yeah, there's holes going into it. It's weird. A crumpet okay. and an English muffin. If you put them together, they would be the perfect match. But. Oh, okay. They're they're each other's halves. All right. I like that. I'm glad we all know what a crumpet is now. Um, Yuki said watermelon. Priyana said pizza okay so now i'm gonna head over to our foodie tunes screen and we are going to officially start our animation activity also a quick reminder the links we've been using we're switching them around a little and because we realized that you guys need a little more time to animate before you submit so now we're going to move it to where we do this activity and you guys have a week to do it and upload it and then we'll show it off on the next show so I'll talk about it at the end too, but let's head over to our animation station. And Ryan, Ryan's got some cheese puffs. <laughs> I remember, why is this so deep? Yuki Lemon. Yuki Lemon kept asking if I remember <laughs> that. Oh! You, you remember you, <laughs> Yuki Lemon. I it thought was... you were saying cheese puff, you're so funny. Oh my gosh. No, yeah, who, there you go. Who, it was someone's birthday last week. I forget whose it was. But oh, yeah, we did sing happy, happy birthday. birthday to someone. Okay. Um, all right, so is this the snack of choice you're using today, Ryan? That is the snack of choice I'm using. So if anyone said chose cheesies or cheese puffs or cheese, what do you call these things, Kat? Cheese puffs. Cheese puff? Cheesy? Cheesies? Cheesy? Is that a Canadian thing? I think, is that like, are you saying an adjective or a noun? I'm saying what that is, the noun, a cheesy. Oh it's my not, God, you guys it call is... it a cheesy? Yeah. See, That's Drippy so... Drippy Bird said cheesy. Really? Do you guys call it cheesy? Mate, uh, Drippy Bird did say cheesy. Wait, that's so funny. Other people Cheeto. know that. That's, Cheeto's okay, the Cheeto. name. Cut out, wait, I'm writing our first step, Ryan. What is our first step? Cut out, talk about our first step. 
Our first step is we're going to decide what this is called. <laughs> Everyone, can we do a poll? Is it a cheesy, a Cheeto, or a cheese a jig Okay, type it in the chat instead of doing a legit poll. I'm seeing Cheetos, cheesy fingers. What is a Polska Cheeto? Don't know. Call it cheese puffs. Man, there's a lot of options here. I think- Cheesy finger. Cheese dog, cheese doge. That's my fave. Heather Laughlin. Cheetos. We have decided on cheese puffs, we'll say. Okay. We'll call them cheese puffs for the rest of the the show. show. Cheese. Okay. Oh my Post. god, Cheeto Dust. Their literal username is Cheeto Dust, so we have to trust what they say. And they said cheese puff, so I. That's it. Okay. Sounds good. Perfect. Okay. So how are we going to begin with now that we have our picture of food, Ryan? What are we doing? So step one, we are going to separate our favorite cheese puff from this picture. So I'm going to grab the lasso tool and I'm gonna trace around the cheese puff of choice. And I think I'm gonna go for this one right here. That looks pretty uh, pretty cheesy and good. Yeah. So I'm selecting the lasso tool and then I'm just gonna trace around it. And my trace is not very good. All right, uh, and we're writing the steps here so you can follow around along. Okay, let's see. How yeah. are you going to okay. transfer that cheesy to a new frame? So I am going to live dangerously here. Oh. I don't recommend <laughs> you doing this. So I'm going to copy it. Boom. See the copy up there? So I just copied it. Now I'm going to deselect and I'm going to select the whole. Oh my gosh. I was on the wrong layer. Oh my so, gosh, Ryan. <laughs> Classic Ryan. Classic Ryan. Okay, now I'm going to copy it. Now, then I'm going to deselect and I'm going to select the whole image and I'm going to delete that image and then paste it. And there it is. Right Yay! On the hold on, hold on. But you probably oh! shouldn't do that. Oh, 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 <laughs> never mind. We probably shouldn't do that. Well, did you did you have that set up just for one of Ryan's blunders? I oh did God. for that your blunders. To, that needs to be a segment. Ryan's, Ryan's blunders. blunders. I actually blah, blah, moved it blah. up in the sounds that I used because I was like, I'd like to use this today for Ryan. So there we go. Perfect. Any, anytime Ryan is on the long, wrong layer, then you can use that. And maybe I'll make a title called like Ryan's <laughs> blunders. Okay, perfect. I'm excited. All and right. You can, you can just play it anytime. So All the time. anyways, I've got my cheesy. <laughs> oh, cheese puff. I, I was it. gonna say, I'm I was trying. gonna call you out. Yeah. Cheese puff. Okay. Cheeto dust said with that's it. So we have to we have to live by Cheeto dust rules. I know. Okay. So I have my cheese puff. Yes. Yes. Here. Yes. And what I'm going to do is I want to make a run cycle. So I'm going to make this cheese puff into a running animal of some sort. Okay. So to make a cycle, what you have to do is have a loop. So it will start off running, it'll do something, and by the end, it'll be back to the same kind of frame as the start so that it's a constant loop. So to make this easy for this show, I am going to do a six frame loop. So okay. the next step is copy and paste this frame five times. Oh, five times. Here we go. There's the second step. And also guys, remember on the on the right, we're doing steps so you guys can follow along. That way you guys can submit your animations in the link um, when you finish it for next week. You do not have to submit it during the show. You can work on it as long as you want. Um, and if you want to come back and rewatch it, the steps will be right here. Okay, Ryan, continue. So when you're doing a walk cycle or a run cycle, the, th the major thing that is moving is the body. So in this case, the cheese puff is going to be the main thing that's moving. Then I'm gonna add legs and maybe hair 
and maybe a face or something. So cool. the first part is we're going to make that Cheeto move. Okay. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this Cheeto up and down by frame three. We'll say four. It's going to be at its highest point. And by frame six, it's going to be close to its lowest point. So it looks like it's going up and down. Okay. So that's a simple motion there. Okay, so move cheese puff up and down. Nice. I like how we uh, we created this little side thing so people knew what we were doing, and then they show up and they're like, "Move cheese puff up and like, down." Like, what does that mean? <laughs> what are they doing here? <laughs> oh, so. ready, ready to laugh. Studio said, "I think you're the best app for animation." Thank you. I think I think we're pretty. Uh, I think we're pretty good too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So let's see. How does that look? How's that little, little cheese puff going? It it's looking like it's bouncing just like if you all uh, avert your gaze to the bottom right corner. Um, that's what we're making, just so you guys can all know. And it's looking like you got the so the marshmallow would equal the cheese puff here doing that little movement and then we'll add it, all the the fun things mm -hmm. so the next step that i'm gonna do is add the features so eyes legs what else should we have um i was this, thinking uh, arms so it's it's like a uh it's a cheese puff that it is down on four legs, like running like a human would run with arms and legs, or running like this. I, I was feeling a gallop. I was feeling a gallop. Okay. Yeah, I was feeling a galloping okay. Cheeto. Cheese puff. Oh, no. A galloping oh, Cheeto. Cheeto. <laughs> Your true self is revealed. You I were know. a cheese puff person. Oh, gosh. I lied. You were just faking this whole time. All the cheese puff people feel like you did now they probably do i uh gosh gonna work on that later yeah all right so we're adding features but more specifically ryan what are we adding first so what i like to do is i like to kind of design it first and then go into the animation so okay for this i'll add yeah maybe i'll add some legs I, I don't know. Yeah. I'm gonna add a leg, and another leg, and then a leg, and another leg. Okay. And then maybe some eyes. What do you think? Yes. My, my what kind step. Of, what? Go ahead. I was just Draw saying features, for, yeah. Legs, legs, whatever you need. Exactly. Okay, what were you saying? What kind of eyes? Yeah, how how should this uh, cheese puff look? All Does right, chat, think? let us know. What kind of eyes are we thinking? Give us some descriptor words. Let's Leave see. Leave three, e four kits as those are whiskers. Those are whiskers. Those could look like well, whiskers. This is, this is what I'm thinking. I'm think this is how I'm picturing it. Ketchup like eyes. This sort of thing. Ketchup eyes, and then like some sort of hair. Oh, I love the hair. The tail. Yes, perfect. Okay. Like that sort of thing. Um, Jelly loves but, ice cream. Said it has to be cute. So make the eyes cute with eyes red cute. with red eyeshadow because they're ketchup eyes, or red tears, whatever okay. you prefer. So cute eyes to me is always like. Oh. I like how I I do whistles for <laughs> description. You're like you know what I mean. Just yeah. Like, and you gotta go. Yeah. Now do you see why I always make sure that my camera's on when we have meetings? Because, or yours is? Because otherwise I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's the movements and the... That, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then these eyes were given to us by... I forget who recommended them. What's the, uh, the niece's name? Oh, yes. Uh, I think it might have been Antonella. Yes, these are her eyes, I believe. That is a... Or the uh, eyes that she likes drawing. That she likes to draw, yes. We have a, 
a flip a clip family creator and she made a very cute drawing with those eyes okay what else okay um mouth what kind of mouth are we doing here all are right we guys a... we got ditos make the face a straight line yeah. What mine's kind of mouth? Bad. Mine's loading. It's got to be derpy, Ooh. said Izzy's vids. Derp. Okay. <laughs> How does that look? Is that That's pretty awesome. derpy? That is perfect. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Are, you guys, are you guys following along? You guys have a whole week to do this before we... Um, show them off, so don't worry. But if you're starting, let us know. And you can draw any character you want. You can choose any food and do, any, or you can do any object, any food, and do any characteristics. Mm hmm okay. Should we add one more feature? What, what else? should yes. we do hair maybe? I'm, I'm hair, seeing kind hair, of... I'm also seeing a lot of ears, so I'm thinking. Hairy maybe. ears? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, like furry, Fuzzy ears, maybe. Okay. What, what, what kind of? Yeah, let us know, guys. Blush, please. I don't know how to do blush. Is that blush? Oh, like little um red, like red circles on the cheeks. Okay, so it's uh, is it like part of the cheek or like this? No, yeah, just cheek? like that. Perfect, right under the cheek. YouTube right. Bob is working on his, can't wait, or theirs, can't wait to see their animation next week. Very excited for that. I'll be checking the link. Don't worry, we'll go after, over it in the end again, and I'll tell everyone how to submit. Okay. Lovely. Okay. Um, and what was I doing? Sorry, ear hair? And then floppy, furry ears. Okay. So I'm going like that. That's ear. Cool Blue that? Hippo is also working on their animation. Definitely going to look out for yours next week. Very excited. Hmm. Metal Sonic underscore Plex said they're going to work on theirs. I'll also look for yours. Nice. Mm. Wow, this is looking cool. Very fun. I also want to see if I can get this background music. Ryan, tell me if you suddenly can't hear me at all. Hold on. Ooh. Do you guys like the music? Let me know if it's fun or if you can't even hear it at all. <laughs> yes, Lil, Lil Chinch, you can make your swim. That's awesome that you're animating it right now. I can't wait to see what you do. Okay. Um, Hype Boy what, also. What color should the hair be? All right, Need chat. Hair color. What color hair? Let's see. Oh, Rainy Wolf said they can't hear the music. Can you hear the music? Am I the only one hearing the music? Yeah, but that's cool if you just want to listen to music. Are it. you serious? You can't hear it? No, <laughs> are you going like? I, oh, I'm like, I'm like vibing. Wait, how about now? Yeah. Can you hear it now? Yeah. Oh, you can. You guys can hear it now. Is it too loud now? Maybe a little bit. Let's do a nice level five. All right, sorry. So that's we were it. looking for <laughs> we were looking for hair. I forgot. Um, okay, Smeden three Danmark said yellow. Okay. But then, yeah. but yeah. also yellow, huggy. Yellow rainbow. I was thinking we do too because huggy wuggy creator said blue, so I'm thinking one yellow, one blue. Okay. Sounds Ooh. good. Liam Woodland is nearly done with their animation. Cannot wait to see. Gets me so excited. I guess their ears would be like an orange because their body is kind of orange. Wait, I kind of love this character a lot. Like, should we make this the new mascot of Flippa Clip? I think it just became a new mascot. What's the mascot's name? Anyone? Oh, oh, like this. I thought you were asking what the official Flip Clip mascot name. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's it's this cheese puff. It's is this the cheese mascots. It's we just all right, made guys. It. We, guys, we need a name. So suddenly, while well, Ryan, well, first Ryan, after you say your next step, 
then I'll ask the chat for a name. So what's our next step now that we have our, uh, our features drawn? So the next step is just go and animate the rest. And, oh. uh, <laughs> Hey, I mean, thanks for coming out, everybody. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Flippers out. Bye. No, just kidding. Flippers We're kidding. Out. We're kidding. All right, Ryan. Now let's walk through the steps to animate this bad boy. Okay. So right now, around the fourth frame is when it is at its highest. So that's when the cheese puff things feed her off the ground. So the feet are going to be together. So I'm going to start off by animating the feet in a gallop. And okay. Yeah. So, so how would you, what's, what would you call that? Animate, yeah, animate legs first? Yeah. All right. No animate spam, don't call legs it. In... Animate legs. Perfect. Sorry. I got a spam call in it. Sent everything out of oh, no. whack. Uh oh. Here we go. Okay, step five. Anime leg movement. And I know that's a little bit vague, but Ryan's gonna explain the the details of what that means. So take it away, Ryan. How do you know how to animate what a gallop sequence looks like? So, what I do is I look on the internet for mm -hmm. a horse or a dog or whatever, and then I use that as a reference and I, because I would not be able to animate a horse or a dog or a galloping animal at all if I didn't look it up. So, yeah, there you go. That's the first thing I do. So, Thanks to make that little honesty, marshmallow Ryan. dog, I just, yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, just go online and, and Google, like, how do you animate a gallop? Yeah, see, yeah. even the best yeah. of the best in the world, even the best flip a clipper in the world looks things up for reference <laughs> and never feel bad to reference. <laughs> There's, um, so, so hey, love, V said, any tips for animating? There's your uh, Ryan tip of the day is don't be afraid to look something up. Check a reference out. Yeah. Yeah. So for this, for these legs, for this gallop, I'm just going from out, which is like if the Cheeto is in the air flying like that, and then down when it touches the ground. It's like, pew. Uh, pew, perfect. Can you write, I got pew? pew. Anime I'm leg gonna... movement, bracket, pew. Pew, yeah, perfect. I think everyone will get it from just pew. Oh, you sneaky, oh my God. Oh no! What happened? Ryan's blunders. Ryan's blunders. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're the sound. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah. you, Kelly. Yes, of course. Um, yeah, I'm on the wrong uh, layer. Layer, but that's fine. That's so. all right. You're still telling everyone how to do it. I have an idea. While you do that, let me go see what people want to name our new creature. Okay, I really like Mascot. so. Sorry, sorry, mascot. Sorry, thank you, mascot. All right, so Sohela, and I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing anyone's name wrong, Sohela V said, name him Dust. I kind of like something with dust in it. All right, just keep it open, keep an open mind. Okay, we have Marley said Leo, Shayla the Animator said Philip, um, Ori TV said, name him Cheaty. Let's see, what are you guys thinking? Dust or Chezzy? Flip a cheese? <laughs> Tweezy? <laughs> Cheese pop? Huggy Puffy? They said my name. Uh, Chi Chi? Chi Chi? Flip a cheese? Dustin? Hey, Ryan, get back to animating. <laughs> Sorry, I like this. I like this cheesy naming game instead. <laughs> okay, let's see. Flip a cheese. Uh, Puggy, Puggy Puffy? Oh. Choto Choto Poof? I'm thinking, ooh, I like Cheese Spy. That's giving him a little character. I'm thinking Cheese, cheese spy, spy, Cheese Spy Dustin. We're combining two. I'm thinking we go Cheese how Spy, about, what? How about Dustin Cheese Spy? Oh. I ugh. feel like Dustin is yeah. the first name. No, you're so right. Kelly, what are you doing? 
Thank you, Ryan. This is why we keep Ryan Dustin around. Cheese spy. Dustin Cheese Spy. Um, but he does need a middle is name. He... What's his middle name? Hmm. Um, you pick Ryan, because I did a lot of the decision making there. Okay, and you were excited. His middle name is uh, iPad. Done. Uh, oh my god, I literally this... could never have thought of a better one. Dustin iPad Cheese Spy. Yay! Um, How about, let's be more inclusive actually. Let's call him D Dustin Tablet Cheese Spy. Okay, let's not forget about our Android okay. friends. Uh uh. I got okay. you guys. Done. Tablet is his okay. middle name. Is. <laughs> nice. Um, All right. Are we what's ready next? to move on to the next step here? Yes, what's step six? So step six is we're going to do animate the face. Animate the face. Nice. So I am going to my face layer, which happens to have the legs on it as well. Ryan's Blunders, classic. Nice, classic. So. Sometime when you're um, animating a run cycle like this, the body will be the first thing that moves and then everything else kind of moves after. So if we were having a tail, the body would move up and then the tail would be two frames behind going up as well. So for the face, I'm going to have it like do a little bit of a wobble. Like, okay. So the Cheetos, the cheese puff is going to reach the top <laughs> and then a frame later, the face is going to reach the top. So it has a bit of like more of a anatomically correct movement, we'll say. So yeah, Ryan, we'll say. would that be, I, I took a, an animation class in college. That's my experience other than Flipple Club. Um, was, is that called secondary movement or what is that called? You got it. Secondary, sedentary movement. Sedentary, no, secondary movement. <laughs> <laughs> so what I learned secondary movement as, I remember we were watching some references and there was, uh, we were looking at Cuphead and Cuphead, uh, one of the characters would like move, but then after their clothes would move. So it's like the reaction, like if I go like this, then my hair moves a little after. So there's like the second movement that comes from the first movement. And that always makes animations look real good, real clean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I've got the face. Thank you for the uh, analysis, Kelly. You're like the play-by-play uh, -play person on this. I, was little, I went in. I don't know. I was feeling it. No, okay. it was good. You went for it. It was great. And <laughs> cool. Callie's, I didn't, we need a segment for that. Callie's tips of the trade. Callie. With the Callie. Tips of the trade with Callie. I don't know. I thought I'd have something better. Does anyone in the chat have something? Um, What's my segment? We have Ryan's blunders and Callie's. Well, feel it. How about animation? Alley with Callie. Cal anime. I like the ch word alley. Yeah. Because I like rhymes. Animation Anyways. alley with Callie. I'm, so far, that's it. All right. We'll think about it. We'll yeah. bring it for, for the next show. Okay. Animate okay. the face. Okay. So, for the face, I have done that. It's kind of bouncing. And now I'm going to animate. The hair is the next thing I'm gonna do. Wait, Sibs mapping, so. Callie's animation alley. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> Sorry, that was a very important disruption. Continue. So now we're at the face. We're at the face, we're done the face, we're moving to the hair. So okay. for the hair, we're gonna do that secondary motion, which is nice. as it's going up, the hair is gonna be a little bit behind, so it's gonna go down a little bit. And then when it reaches the top, it's not going to reach the top at the same time. It's going to wait a second, and then it's going to fling up. So it's kind of wavy. OK, so cool. So it's like a wave movement that's almost a little delayed from the other movements. Exactly. I like it. Nice, 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 nice. And because I drew his ear on, or their ear on the same layer as the hair it is all part of it now yay um, 
So the ear is moving as well. That's okay. No one's gonna. It's kind of. It's you know what it is. It's a ear ear accessory. That sounded better in my head. Okay. No, that, that's good. Oh no, erase. Ah. Um. Oh my gosh, YouTube Bob said. By the way, Callie and Ryan, do you remember Cheese Man? That character you made that fit that fit perfectly on the stream. Oh, uh, we forgot. We'll have to have a merger where they meet one episode or show or something. Is this a crossover episode? It's a yeah. crossover. Looking good. That's the sound the thing does. And copy, paste. Oh, where did I paste it? Ryan's blunders. Just me to go there. Oh, onion skin, you are throwing me off. Oh no! So what are you doing now, Ryan? So I'm just finishing up this hair, and, and I got it. So how do you know, like, where to put it? Kind of. Are you just? Um, this is a little technique that I call winging it. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Usually I would pick a spot on the Cheeto. So I would know that's where the uh, hair is supposed to be. So say, like I go back to the beginning and I was to do this correctly, I'd be like, okay, this ear or this hair is like by this bump right here. Sorry, can't really see. Gotcha. by that bump so then that's where i know to like keep it in that general area but since i'm doing like a kind of silly character if it gets a little wacky and all over the place it's not really that big of a deal okay that's good yeah. to know because it's all just kind of flopping around so even if you get it a little off it will still look pretty good right exactly nice winging it with ryan Winging it with Ryan. All right, guys. We gotta. If you think of a catchy name for that, we need. We have Ryan's blunders, but we need a uh, winging it with Ryan. So make it rhyme. We'll we'll check back in the chat later. Okay, Ryan. Where are we now? Are we are we done? I think we're done. I think that's Woo! it. I think that's a pretty good. Woo! Woo! Look at Cheeto. him. All right. Wait. Hold on. What was his name again? Uh, Dustin Spyman. Dustin Tablet Spyman. Dustin Tablet, no, Cheese Spy. Cheese Spy, where did we come with Cheese Spy? Is he, are they a spy? I don't know, <laughs> but I just liked it and it made me feel inspired. All right, guys, so if you look right below, Ryan, do a finger down, do that. Look at the steps. If you want to try to create your own Dustin Tablet Cheese Spy or whatever, you could use any type of food. You could use any features, anything. Just use the main uh, steps here and you'll create something probably pretty magical looking. Um, thank you, Ryan. That's awesome. I have, um, before I have the next segment, do you have anything else to say to wrap this one up? Nope, I think it's wrapped. And I think Dustin is kind of, it looks like, He's running backwards, <laughs> which way to me. It's it's okay. He's a spy, so he does like things differently because he's a spy, yeah, and we we can't know why. It's a secret sneaking mission. Sneaking around. He's sneaking. And he's pretending to be dumb by or goofy <laughs> by sticking his tongue out, and people are like, "I'm not paying attention to that cheese puff." But <laughs> really, he's a spy. Really, you should watch out for him. Um, here's your name that someone saw. Winging it with Flying Ryan, because wings oh. fly. Hold on, I'm, that's I'm a good one. I'm picturing that title intro and I'm in an airplane going. Woo. Woo. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I'm gonna bring us back to um, this here to introduce our next segment because right when I go into that scene, we are going to watch an animation. So everybody, this is the first official creator spotlight. <laughs> Okay, so um, we're working on this with you guys so we can create a great way to showcase your amazing animations made with Flip a Clip, and we wanna celebrate you and inspire other users and build this community. So every week, we are going to feature one or more of you guys from the link, and at the end, after this, I'm gonna go over the links again. So don't stress, after the next Creator Spotlight, right after this in this show, 
I'm gonna tell you all how to submit. So what we're gonna do every week is look through the submissions and highlight one. So let's start and we're gonna watch. Um, Ryan has never seen this animation. I got to pick this one this week. So this was the one that I loved and I also really loved the write-up they did for it, which I'll show after. And let's take it away. I wish I had an angel for a moment of love I wish I had your angel Ryan, what do you think of Studio Edema's incredible creation? Tell me. That is, oh my gosh, made me bigger. I did. I yeah, want your that opinion. Was, <laughs> that That's one of those ones where you're like, what? That, that was made with flip a clip? Right. Oh my gosh. So good. Yeah, it's, it was incredible. All the, uh. All the illustrations were so like so good. All the lighting was fantastic. What's that little so, saying there? So, sorry, there was like, I was having a little bit of a glitch here to, to pull it up. But hold on, there we go. Okay, so, Ryan, those are some great observations. I always love to hear artist Ryan's perspective. He's some great thoughts. So this is, um, in the link, I wanted to hear your guys' thoughts. We all wanted to hear your thoughts, and so I had, um, section for a write-up and I'm just gonna read this you guys can all read it but uh, it's just cool to hear about Studio Edema's experience uh, so animated entirely in flip a clip this is a small clip of an animated series I've been working on for a while this the inspiration is the classic angel vs devils fallen corrupt angels and a Nephilim girl struggling to survive in a world where she's not allowed to live due to her being a forbidden species Scooty the half human half angel Nephilim girl from a distant star called UY Scooty visits earth the home planet of her mother Ophira to learn more about her and the planet she's from a strange young man named Michael shows up, gives her a weird shape pin, and quickly becomes her friend. But as the young extraterrestrial girl will soon see, not everybody wants to be her friend. But don't worry, she's part deity. She can handle herself. All right, hold on. Now that is a creative thing. Let's see what everyone's saying. Nyx says that's so cool. Rain Cake Sand says, wow, cool. A YouTube Bob, Angel vs. Devil, I love that. Um, I'm seeing a lot of really positive. Hey, Queen Jennifer, I see you. Um, Vip Jammer said, that was so cool. Izzy's Vid C said, wow, I hope my art becomes that good in the future. Woo! Yes, we got some really positive comments. So, Studio Edema, um, you blew us away. This was beautiful. I cannot wait to see the series. I'm definitely going to be tracking it. Um, and yeah, just great job. And Ryan, any last thoughts on our creator spotlight? No, that was, uh, that was incredible. They got me thinking. It's very inspiring. I was thinking of like, where's Dustin cheese <laughs> spy? Spy cheese? Spy man? Cheese spy? How does he work cheese into this spy? story? Yeah. Yeah. How did, where is he from? So I, yeah, it's, it's very inspiring to start like getting other like influences and be like, huh, maybe I could do something like that. Maybe Dustin's from another planet. Maybe he was a, from a clown cheese puff planet. And then he came to a planet where everyone's just normal non-clown cheese puffs. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Let's start a series right now. I feel inspired. And he has to, he has to spy on them. Oh, maybe he goes to the clown planet and he is a like normal cheese puff. And so he has to dress up and spy like them and act goofy. And that's why he acts goofy. Yes. Mm -hmm. But he's actually, he's actually really good. Yeah. Okay. I'm feeling, so. I'm feeling positive merch coming out soon for cheese, cheese spy, cheese spy. All right. Here's a great transition <laughs> question from uh, whale, the rail, fa rail fanner. Um, oh wait. 
that wasn't the right one, sorry. Hold on. Your comment is valid, but that wasn't the transition question that I wanted. Anyway, someone said, how do I submit? Let me show you how. So if you want to be like Studio Edema, check the, the right the right side right here, creator, Ryan, <laughs> creator spotlight. So, Ryan's blunders. <laughs> Ryan, <laughs> Ryan's blunders. So on the right, we have creator spotlight, and this is what we just showed from um, Studio Edema. So if you want one animation, it has nothing to do with our show, just like anything you've been working on that you're proud of and passionate and want to share, submit it here and include your username and just a little write up about what it is, how you made it, anything. And and then on the left over here, this is new. So this is, it's the same link. It's all in the description, but we're changing it up. Ryan. <laughs> Ryan's directionally <laughs> challenged. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. So we, um, we, I forgot what I was saying. So the Flip Hangout live activity is something like, uh, for example, what we did today with Ryan, where we made, if you look up the marshmallow. So this, how we're going to do it is we're going to do it. I am going to lose it on Ryan. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to do an activity on a live show and then you guys get a week. So until next, let's say Wednesday, if you want to do it Thursday morning, I'll still check it. So you get a week to complete the animation inspired by whatever we did. And it can change. It can morph into something else. We just want to inspire you to work on something and share it. So instead of having to upload it right during the live show, you get six or seven days to do whatever and upload there. And we're also changing, rather than uploading a file, you're gonna post it to social media and give us the link. It's just easier that way. Um, and that way we can make sure we're shouting you guys out and showing your usernames and building that community. Woo, okay. <laughs> um, and I think that's all for our show today. Check out the links in the description. Make sure to share your work on social media. Right, and and also uh, hashtag, yep, and hashtag <laughs> Flip a Clip Hangout is what we're gonna use. Um, we'll put that up next show too, but also feel free to start tagging with that and we'll check it out. All right, Ryan. Flippers out. Flippers out. <laughs> See <ya. laughs>